How would you like to be able to run a fully functional Kali Linux desktop on top of Windows without installing VirtualBox or some other third-party hypervisor? Well, if your answer to this question is yes, well, then that means you're as big of a nerd as I am. But you've also come to the right place because that's what we'll have at the end of this video. Now, since this is a fresh install of Windows, first thing that we're gonna wanna do is install the Windows subsystem for Linux. We can do that by opening up a admin PowerShell. This should work from the command prompt or the Windows terminal if you have that. Now the command is WSL space dash dash install. So we'll let that run. Now this command will most likely try to download and install the Ubuntu distribution. We'll go ahead and let it download, but I'm going to stop the installation later. Alright, as you can see from this message, it says that the changes won't take effect until reboot, so we'll go ahead and reboot the system. Okay, once we are rebooted and have logged back in, we'll want to install Kali Linux. Uh, this is what I was talking about earlier, it's trying to automatically install Ubuntu, I'm just going to go ahead and kill that. If you want to let it run on your system, that's fine, but that's not necessary for what we're going for here. All right, so open up the Microsoft Store. Then we will do a search for Kali Linux. This first result here is the one that we're looking for. Once that comes up, go ahead and click on Install. Uh, one thing to note, uh, those of you who are a little bit more enterprising might know that you can install this distribution from the command line using the WSL command. I don't recommend using that. Um, I do definitely recommend doing it through the Microsoft Store. Unfortunately, I learned the hard way that that command is broken and has been broken at least since November of 2021 um, and is still broken as of August of 2022. So definitely install this distribution through the Windows or Microsoft Store. Now, while I'm in here, you don't have to do this part, but while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and install the Windows Terminal. All right, and then we're, once we're done with that, we can go ahead and close that. Okay, so then we will start our Kali Linux distribution, and that will start the install. Eventually, you will see this prompt that comes up to enter a username. And it will prompt you for a password as well. And there you have it. There's your Kali Linux distribution. There's a few more things that we'll still need to get done in order to have this be usable. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this down and reopen it in the Windows Terminal. And with any new distribution, the first thing that we want to do is update the packages. So we'll run the sudo apt-get update and then sudo apt-get upgrade. Uh, that's a few packages. That's fine, that'll take a while. Next thing that we'll want to install are the Kali Linux default packages. In order to do that, we will run sudo apt-get install kali-linux-default. Now, as you can see, there are a ton of packages that need to get installed, so this will take quite a while. We'll go ahead and hit yes and let this run. While it's installing these packages, you might see a couple of prompts. Um, these are fairly easy, just step through the defaults for the most part. Uh, here you'll want to use the user that you just set up. So in my case, it was simple Q. For this one, 
read the prompt and see what you prefer. Uh, for my uses, I will just use from inet.d. Once that's done installing, the next command that we want to run is going to be sudo apt-get install kali win kex. As you can see, there's a lot of packages, so now's a good time to take a break while this installs. We'll hit yes and just let it run. All right, so now we've installed the base Kali packages. We've also installed the winkex. So let's go ahead and fire it up. So that command will be kex win s. That will start the GUI and run the sound compatibility mode. It's going to prompt you for a password. This is not your pseudo password. This is going to be the password for the Kex system. You might also get this firewall prompt. Uh, this is for Pulse Audio. This is for the audio system. You can go ahead and allow that access. It will also ask you to enter a view only password. Um, I'm not interested in doing a view only password, so I'm just going to hit no here. Notice that banner up on the top about the F8 menu. It'll take a little bit to get that GUI going. And there you go. Now you can use the app menu to access all of the core applications that you've installed. You can run a command prompt. And as you can see, it's going to use the entire screen. So if you want to run it in a window, you hit that F8 and then uncheck this box that says full screen. And then you can drag it around on your Windows desktop and still have the Kali environment running. When you want to close it, you can just go ahead and X out of it. And there you have it, a fully functional desktop running on top of the Windows subsystem for Linux on Windows.